Hey guys, it's Andrew with AndroidCentral.com and the reason why we're looking at a TV is because we want to give you a look at the way that Chromecast works uh, between this uh, Chromecast connected TV and the new Nexus 7 here. And so after you get everything set up, which is a pretty basic, uh, basic process of uh, downloading an app onto your computer and plugging in the appropriate information, you can load up uh, content from your tablet, such as this Nexus 7 here, and uh, the only things that are updated right now are um, Play Music, YouTube, and Play Movies and TV, but it still gives you a great idea of what's going on here. So what you'll see once you update is you'll get this new button up here at the top and that's the cast button and when you hit that you'll then be given the option to connect to a device I've called this one living room because it's in the living room and once you hit that you'll see on the TV it'll say ready to listen choose a song in your mobile device and then listen to it here and then when we get to the uh, back to the tablet you hit play and it'll start playing nice and loud just how uh, the neighbors like it at 940 at night. So if you don't want it that loud, you can always use the volume controls on the tablet here, but you'll see on the TV that the volume changes over there. Now this isn't changing the system volume of the TV, but just the output from the tablet or phone over to the TV. So as we see the visualizer change, we can turn down the volume so we don't have to uh, hear that so loudly. Now back on the tablet, you can manage a queue of songs. So as you go back through here, you add uh, songs to the queue, other people with other devices can add to the queue, and uh, it'll just play through the music. You hit pause on the tablet, it pauses on the TV, you hit play here again, it plays. Notification works the same way. Lock screen uh, or in the notification tray, it pauses, it plays again. So it works just as you would expect. Um, everything that you do on the tablet or the phone happens uh, on the TV as well. So it gets interesting as well when we switch over here to YouTube. For example, we have the uh, podcast from today lined up. And once you hit play there, you can hit the cast button. Actually, let's pause that. We don't need to listen to Phil right this minute. Go ahead and hit the cast button first and you'll see tablet or living room. You hit living room and it will take over on the TV. So you stop playing music, it went to YouTube. Now you can see it starts buffering here and then it starts buffering there. So I started listening to this, uh, watching this earlier, and uh, so it saved my buffering uh, a spot there as well. So now same thing applies. You hit pause here, it pauses on the TV. You hit play here, it plays on the TV. It works exactly how you, you would expect. And uh, as you see, I hit play there, it starts playing. I can hit home on the tablet, move around, it doesn't matter the video just keeps playing. So until you explicitly turn this off, which you'll see on the tablet here in the notification, we have the options to pause and play, go back to music if we want to, view the video cue. Uh, we only have one thing in the queue, obviously, because that's what we're watching. But you can always hit that button, hit the cast button again, hit tablet, and it just goes back to ready to cast. So that's your quick walkthrough uh, of Chromecast using the Nexus 7 and the Chromecast dongle on a TV. We'll be diving more into this feature on AndroidCentral.com. Thanks for taking a look, guys.